Hello and welcome to Warhammer Wednesday. Today I'm going to be unboxing and reviewing these. Uh, Citadel file set. Uh, I currently have these ones um, but they're getting a bit crummy and I'm always on the lookout for new tools and new brushes and things like that. Um, so I thought what the hey GW have some new ones that they brought out a few years ago, a couple of years ago. I might as well just get these and uh, see how well, well they perform. Um, seeing as I'm really into the hobby right now, uh, I'm buying a lot of models, I'm gluing them, I'm painting them, you name it. I'm really into the hobby. I need to keep your, your tool set up. So that's why I've, I've gone for these. The amount of mould lines on the, the new Skitari uh, models kind of brought that to the forefront of my mind a little bit and it's been quite tricky to get some of the, the mould lines or the flash off both resin and um, plastic models and and sometimes I'd be there and I'd the files would cut a bit too deep into the model and unless you've got some really nice smooth emery paper it's going to be uh, you, you're going to be left with some scratches on, on your models which isn't the, the best kind of thing but neither is leaving the mould lines on so let's unbox them and see how different they are there's only two I believe in here and it will set you back um, I don't think the price is on here I think he took it off but I think the £13 for two files I think they're made in China they come in this nice little box as normal and they're presented like so brown and gold I don't know why I don't know the, the colouring um, behind them but they look identical um, there's not really any instructions as such uh, I can't really see the difference maybe this one maybe the brown one is slightly um, smoother but I like how smooth they are I mean you're going to be able to get mold lines off of, off models with these and it's not going to damage damage the models what I'll do is I'll grab the model and uh, use it on on him and uh, show you the, the kind of results because it wouldn't really be a good review if I didn't show you the tool in action so here I am I've got a, a few models that I'm working on at the moment as you can see I've discovered through Games Workshop's video because it's not on the box anywhere which is a bit odd that um, the gold ended file is the coarser one and the brown one is just for smoothing I think I've been using the gold one anyway but either way let's have a little look I've got a Space Marine Librarian and we'll just have a little look at how well this this performs so you can see the mold line on there many people prefer to use the back of the blade or even um, like a scraper uh, GW do a scraper but for me I like to get in there and file And I guess polishing one just polishes it up a little bit smoother. They're thin enough just to get in all the nooks and crannies of the models. So there you have it. A bit of a bit of a demo of these these two files. And that's kind of like the end of my review. Um, as I said before, they're 13 pounds. Do I think they're worth it? Yeah, I think I think they're worth it. There's nothing worse than having a plastic miniature with mould lines and this gives you the best way of, of dealing with, with mould lines which is just to file them and it won't scratch your model up too much. Thanks ever so much for joining me today. Thank you for watching. The Emperor Protects.